Dictionaries. Today we will focus about understanding dictionaries which is also a part of a data structure and it is quite unique and little bit different as compared to array, stack, queues and linked list which we saw in our previous chapters. So what is this dictionary all about? It is nothing but a key value pair such as the way which we store in our phone book. Okay, so dictionary is nothing but a data structure that stores that stores data as a key value pair. So whatever key value pair which we have in our database is stored in the format of a dictionary and that is why it is said to be a unique kind of a data structure in comparison with the previous data structures which we saw in our examples. So here the key value pair is stored in such a way like we store in our phone book which includes the data names and phone numbers. When you look for a phone number, you first search for the name and when you find the name, the phone number is found right next to the name. So that is a kind of a dictionary or say a simple dictionary where you want to get a meaning of a particular word. Then you go alphabetically get for that word and then accordingly you get the meaning for that particular word. So in the similar way in dictionary, we first of all search for a key. Accordingly, we'll search for the value. And searching for the key value also takes place with the help of sorting, like alphabetical way. So that is why dictionary is said to be a kind of a unique data structure. It follows a JavaScript object. So JavaScript object class is designed to operate as a dictionary. So that is the second major point or the prime point when it comes to dictionary. So in this chapter, we'll use the features of an object class to build a dictionary class that simplifies working with dictionary type object. You can perform the same functions as we have discussed in our previous chapters. So, but creating a dictionary class makes it doing easier and it will have more of fun. So, basic example for understanding dictionary would be a phone book which stores its data as names and phone numbers. So let's start with coding for our dictionary. First of all, we'll create a HTML file and then a JavaScript file like the way we did in our previous data structures and access the values of the key and the values with respect to value and key pair in dictionary. So let's go to our code base where we will create a JavaScript object and accordingly we'll create a code for dictionary. So this is our code base here. I'll do one thing is like I'll create a new folder and that folder will be associated with the dictionary code. So I'll just mention the name as dictionaries because we have created the separate folder everywhere. So the same thing we will do it over here. We'll delete from here and we will create outside our data structure or simply we can create a new file and save it inside our data structure code base here I'll create a new folder and the name of the folder will be dictionaries so we'll create a separate repository for each so inside this I'll save this file as dictionary.html okay now I'll create a doc type so my doc type will be in this format like it will be doc type html and inside this I'll specify the HTML tag that is HTML and I'll call for head tag head and the title tag title and inside title I'll say dictionary implementation okay and here I'll even call for the meta tag so my meta will be meta cassette UTF 8. So I've completed with my head tag. After head tag comes my body tag. So inside body tag, I'll say body. Inside this tag, I'll call for a H2 tag, which will say this is a dictionary illustration. And inside this, I'll specify the script tag, which is like script type text JavaScript. Okay. And the source for the script will be dictionary.js. 
So I have done with my script tag, declaration of HTML tags and everything inside my HTML page that is dictionary.html. Now after this I will create a new file and the name of the file will be dictionary.js. So I'll just copy this particular file name and create in the same way. So this will be dictionary.js. Inside this I will have the complete logic for defining the dictionary. So let's start with coding dictionary.js. So this is my dictionary file here. I'll start with coding with the function. So that would be function. Name of the dictionary is like dictionary and I'll initialize my constructor over here. So this is this dot add equal to add and after that comes the data store which is nothing but an empty array. So I'll say this dot data store equal to an empty array. The alternative way for data store is like this dot data store equal to new array. You can also specify in this format. But now I'm commenting this section because this is just an alternative way which was suggested from my side. And now comes the method which is find and remove. So I'll say find to find the value from the keyword. So I'll say this dot find equal to find and this dot remove is to remove a particular key or a particular value we call for this function so this dot remove so i have got initialized my dictionary after this comes the function which is add so for adding up i'll say function and the value will be add key comma value as javascript includes a javascript object notation that is json which is nothing but a key pair value so we'll get it in that particular standard structure when it comes to our dictionary so that is why it is very easy in our scenario to implement dictionary with respect to javascript so this is my function taking two parameters say key and value and now it will be in this format like this dot data store and it will take key inside it and the key will have the associative value so this function you can just say this function is used to represent key value pair. Okay, so I'm done with this standard function. After this comes the remove function. So I'll say function remove and inside remove I'll specify the key and the key will have the remove function so the remove function will remove that particular key so it will say return this or instead of return before returning i would say it would be delete delete this dot data store and it will delete that particular key so i have added for add and remove and after this comes my next function that is to find a particular key so for finding i will say function find key and inside this i'll specify return this dot data store and inside this i'll give the key so this was about the key value pair now let's analyze each of these functions so this was like function to add a key value pair or you can say instead of represent i would say to add a particular a particular key value pair after this i would say for remove this function is used to remove a key or value okay and for find is like this function is used to find a key or i can say the associative value from the key value pair now i declared all my functions the next thing i would like to do is to initialize my dictionary so i'll say a phone book dictionary with reference to phone book dictionary will solve all the problems over here so it will be where p book where p book equal to new dictionary 
and inside this i'll in i will initialize my particular dictionary after this i will add my key value pair so my key value pair will be the name and the phone number so here i'll say pbook dot add and here i'll add my key value like the first value will be the name is mike and the number is say 123 point to be noted this all are the dummy data the actual data can be represented in various formats. After this comes pbook.add and then I'll say, I'll call for David and David will have value 345. Another dummy data which I'm adding. So I'm adding few set of key value pairs. After this comes pbook.add and in, inside this I will say I'll add the value that is Cynthia and the value is 456. So I added the numbers and the you know, names associated to it. Now I'll do just a print to find out the David's extension. Suppose I have a list of names in it and I want to find out the David's extension number or the phone number. So these are say for example extension numbers. So now I'll just print my console over here. So this would be my output one with respect to dictionary. So that would be console.log. Inside this I will say David's extension is and I'll concatenate this with my key value pair that is pbook dot find and find takes one parameter so that is would be my name so i'll call for david okay so this would print the david's extension number next i want to print the mike's extension number so same thing i'll call for console so it will say console dot log and it will again print the same way like we had for david instead of david i'll just copy paste this statement and mention it as mike and here I'll specify the space with the number that is pbook.find and inside find I'll say I'll call for Mike. Okay. So this was about David's extension and Mike's extension. After this I'll again do the same thing. I'll copy paste the sentence and call for Cynthia's extension. So we'll print each and every extension over here. So instead of Mike, I'll say Cynthia and the pbook.find value will call for Cynthia key. So I printed three things. So this was my output. After this, I'll do one thing is like I will remove a particular key and check whether the key has the associative value in the particular dictionary. So I'll call for my remove, remove method. So that would be calling for remove method so i'll say i'll call for my remove method that is david so i'll remove the david key inside my dictionary so i'll say i'll remove david okay i've removed david now i'll print again the same value to check if the value is existing or not so here David's extension should come as undefined. So this would be my output, output 2. Okay. Now we'll do one thing. We'll check in our browser, like how a dictionary is represented, how the values are fetched. Like for my David, it should give the extension 345. For Mike, it should give the extension 123. And for Cynthia, it should give the extension 456. So let's go to our browser and verify whether I'm getting the proper output or not. So this is our code repository from the browser end. And if we refresh the code, we get this dictionary folder. And here inside dictionary.html, I have printed my h2 tag. So this is the dictionary illustration with JavaScript. And now in the console end, we are getting the output in this particular format. That is David's extension is 345. So we are getting the David's extension in this particular manner. If you check in our code repository, so we did mention David's extension as 345. So it is printed accordingly. 
and after this comes Mike's extension which is 1, 2, 3 and Cynthia's extension which is 4, 5, 6. So I am getting all my key value pairs in the proper way and now after removing David, so I did a remove method call and I removed this particular key David. So all the values of the David and its uh, like key value pair is removed from that dictionary. So that is why I'm getting a value over here that is David's extension is undefined because I removed David's extension that is a particular key value pair from the dictionary end. So this was my dictionary illustration with respect to JavaScript. So understanding dictionary data structures and its implementation with JavaScript.